Pacific Coast. But as you can see, live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in northern Japan, the Sendai area. The tsunami has already engulfed some cities. Fire is breaking out due to the earthquake. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that tsunami could reach between six and ten meters. Tsunamis come in several waves. For those of you who are listening to this program, if you're along the coast, please do stay away and move to higher ground immediately. You're seeing live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in the Sendai area. Japan's Meteorological Agency revised the magnitude of the quake to 8.4 from 7.9, one of the worst earthquakes ever in Japanese history. It's a 7 on the Japanese seismic scale of 0 to 7. That is the same size earthquake as one as the one that hit the Great Hanshin area back in 1995. Fire is breaking out, as you can see, live coverage in the Sendai. Welcome area. back, everyone. Lynn Berry here in New York. If you're just tuning in, 2 a.m. on the East Coast, 4 p.m. local time in Tokyo, Japan, where we are bringing you breaking news. You're seeing dramatic pictures of cars, houses, farms being swept away as a result of a massive tsunami wave that struck a coastal town about two and a half hours north of Tokyo. This is the Miyagi Prefecture. Uh, we are getting information as a result of an 8.4 earthquake that struck the area. Uh, reports of a possible 30-foot tsunami wave. And as you're looking at pictures that probably came in about 15 minutes ago, this is not live, about 15 minutes ago, you can see the massive effects of this tsunami in a populated area where you are seeing homes, cars, farms being completely swept away. Uh, dramatic to see. This is the worst earthquake ever to hit Japan. Originally, when this first came in about an hour ago, we had a report of a 7.9 earthquake. It has since been upgraded. I see our banner there says 8.9. There are conflicting reports on that as Japanese television is saying that it was an 8.4. We will clarify that as the morning goes on. Uh, the information is obviously streaming in minute to minute. Let's take you from this coastal town. We can keep the picture on here because this is incredibly dramatic video that gives you an idea of just how serious and, and dangerous the effects are of the tsunami wave. But to give you a perspective of how powerful this earthquake was, it was felt two and a half hours south in Tokyo, a hugely populated city where it was the middle of the afternoon, three o'clock on a busy Friday, a work day where we have gotten reports of workers streaming out of their office buildings after it struck uh, and swayed building for minutes. And on the phone right now, we have Arata Yamamoto, NBC Tokyo producer. Thank you for being with us on such short notice. What can you tell us about what's happening in Tokyo right now? Yeah, well, you know, this happened, as you said, you mentioned two hours ago. Um, I'm, look, I'm in Tokyo. Uh, our office is located in a skyscraper. We're on the 27th floor. We felt the tremor here. Uh, it shook. Um, I, I've never, uh, this was a pretty large uh, tremor here that was felt in Tokyo. We were told to evacuate, and we walked 27 flights of stairs. Uh, it, this this uh, skyscraper uh, houses a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, financial uh, companies here. Uh, all the workers were sort of in a day sort of um, waiting for the tremor to end. Uh, it lasted, it was quite long. It lasted over a good 10 seconds. Uh, we have lights in the office. Uh, it was straight gang. Uh, and when we saw the, the picture, we're, we're actually seeing the same pictures you're seeing right now uh, of uh, what's happened in Miyagi. Uh, this uh, is a pretty big, this is a pretty big one. Obviously devastating when you see that video, if you're able to see it, because that looks like, uh, it sounds, yeah, I'm not. Can you give us an idea of yeah. how populated Miyagi is? Well, Miyagi is one of the most, more populated uh, cities in northern Japan. Uh, it's about uh, two and a half hours by bullet train from Tokyo. 
Um, the pictures you're seeing is, is on the coast near uh, the city of, uh, of Sendai. Uh, the city of Sendai itself, uh, we've seen weather cameras, uh, you know, kind of across the city. There have been reports of sporadic fires in some of the residential neighborhoods, but we haven't seen any of the big buildings topple down uh, so far uh, from the helicopter aerials. Uh, what you're seeing here is the coast, and um, what was interesting about this earthquake is that Japan has instituted this um, pre, uh, it's sort of an advanced uh, earthquake warning system, and this might be the first time that it actually clicked and worked, um, because we were watching the diet session on TV, and uh, uh, an announcement came up saying that, you know, we expect uh, a large earthquake, a uh, large tremor in northern Japan, uh, so be prepared. So really? How long before it actually started? Yeah, it, it, was, it was, well, in Tokyo, because we feel the tremor much later than in, in Sendai, near the epicenter, um, it was a good 30 seconds. And yeah. we so 30 seconds could be, a, a, you know, a, a big deal in you know, order to prepare you for something like this to happen. Absolutely. So what did everyone do when they heard that? You have 30 seconds. How, how did that play out? Well, we, we all got up, and um, I, I noticed in the elevator hall, some of the people already started.